Hi Virgo, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising. As always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Virgo. The message could be for you, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you're wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, feel free to. Um, oh yeah, no. You can access my services through my website, which is linked down below. If you want to follow me over on Instagram, that information is also down below. I just post more stuff on quantum physics and crazy things that I play around with over there. What else was I going to say? Okay. Um, and. Oh, yeah. If you guys do jump over there, just know that occasionally I get scammers. So if anything pops up, just know down below, all my links to everything are in the description box below. So you can always use that for reference. So if you get a follow request from me, it's probably not me, just check back to the description box. You can only access my services through my website, which is linked down below. And I will never DM you for personal readings, money, donations of any kind. So please uh, report and block if anything like that pops up and just, yeah, thanks so much for liking, subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you've supported the channel. Let's dive in for go. All right, hmm, okay. We have the five of wands. Okay, that doesn't really surprise me. There's the seven of swords and we have the two of swords. Okay. Um, Bear with me for a minute, because we have the Seven of Cups in the center. I am going to put that there. I'm going to line this how I want to. Okay. No, I'm going to switch this around even. <laughs> okay, so this is like an interesting way I'm seeing. I know I would... Okay, you're going to have to bear with me, all right? Because I'm seeing... If you decide to go out and pursue something, okay, it could be a person, it could be a, a, like, here's the Seven of Cups, so it could be from your imagination, you could have, like, desired something, or you wanted to explore something further, okay, Seven of Cups, whatever that means. Here's what I'm seeing, okay, in that environment, in that situation, there could be something weird that pops up for you. And it could feel like this. The Five of Wands. It could be jealousy. It could be competition. It could be that you land yourself in an environment uncompletely beknownst to you. And there's like this whole psychological running in the background that you're stepping into. Like whatever, however this plays out. So... It's like, you might see something that you're like, yes, <laughs> you know, and you try to go towards it. Every, like, I wish I, there were, a, you know, in the other decks, I love the Seven of Cups because like, okay, this is perfect. If you've seen the normal Rider Waite card, the Seven of Cups has like <laughs> all these weird random things in the cups. There's like a dragon, there's a snake, there's like a human head, there's like, there's an enlightened being that looks like a mushroom to me, but it's it's it looks like almost Jesus or a mushroom. I don't know. There's a lot of random things. Or there's like a victory wreath and there's like a rainbow. There's like all these things on the Seven of Cups, okay? And it's pretty much talking about how like the the reasons and the intentions behind what you're moving toward. So it's like highlighting when you come into the seven of cups which can be your decision like it's a bunch of choices that you have to make pretty much what this is going to highlight <laughs> is if you get pulled into an illusion that like pretty much you're not meant to go in that direction so here you are going for something and if this is what plays out here's what i'm going to explain that's what i'm trying to get around to when you are making like a choice based off of some kind of psychological need that was 
first produced in possibly a narcissistic environment which means like it's the narcissistic family tree you have a scapegoat you have a you have a golden child you have all of that whole structure that's set up you can even google it there's a whole nice article by karen mcbride it's amazing and this is pretty much how it plays out okay you shift into the environment and usually you will see that there's possibly some form of competition jealousy or it or maybe even triangulation however it applies it's like egoistic needs and it could be talking about that you're trying to fulfill a need that was unmet or trying and maybe it's even about getting attention but it's like you will come into this environment because it's talking about the frequency so when this actually happens this is generally what happens you have the seven of swords Okay, so someone might have done something recently that was deceptive. Seven of Swords can be like lying, deceit. I don't know if you are. Hopefully not. I mean, I would love this. I love my Virgos. <laughs> so it's saying like pretty much this is a cognitive dissonance. Here's the Two of Swords. So there's some type of energy right here that's like possibly moving away there could be deception around this and there is the two of swords which i think could be cutting contact you know because that's like you can't see any longer what's going on in the energy so you could be blocking a person or something like that and then there's the eight of cups walking away from that person or situation okay let's see what's on the bottom queen of cups yeah <laughs> okay going towards so here's the tricky thing about this seven of cups and this is how you can tell that there's you can get pulled into a person and a fantasy but the it, it can be like nothing ever moves okay seven of cups it just like it's it never actually gains any momentum or takes any active direction it keeps you in the seven of cups which depletes your energy. The Seven of Swords can be like, you know, taking advantage or maybe you're lying to yourself even. And that's when something will come up in your reality. And when you move away from this, because you have the Seven to the Eight of Cups, this is kind of what transpires in there. If you have made a choice based off of some childhood need that went unmet, okay, which could be making you pull in the direction of trying to gain approval from peeps that probably never were going to approve you in the first place, but you're still trying to maybe, like, fit in with the cool kids, so to speak. I don't know. That's random, too. That might not be for all of you, but here's the thing. This person, this can also be a sexual fantasy, all right? And it can be that, like, a person likes energies fighting around them okay likes they get fuel by the competition that surrounds them i'm getting like you could be observing that that this person like um could be exploitative in that way but you're walking away okay oh shiz ah this is intense okay <laughs> yeah there's the five of wands okay so that could be some kind of like competition that's going on i don't know if you're in competition with someone but that also could be an an argument maybe what is that is that the lovers ten of swords look there's the seven of cups again what in the world the cards are repeating look at that you have the three of swords the ten of swords that's what I think happened. You know, it's interesting. I was talking about triangulation. The Three of Swords and the Five of Wands. So that could be... Like... Maybe what was going on. Here's, here's something very random, too. I wonder, Virgo, if there's maybe a particular person that you, like... You have been confused or like trying to decide i don't know on if you want to go towards them i'm wondering too if there could be some gossip around this okay we have the seven of cups there's the ten of 
ten of swords. So that's gonna end up in some type of like, <laughs> yeah, you, I like this ten of swords because it's kind of like, you're like, all right, lesson learned, sorry, you know, like maybe you got pulled into a fantasy and the signs were there all along and now you're like, okay, now I know what to look for, now I know what the signs are. Oh, well, isn't that interesting? Okay. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the King of Wands. All right. See, this is when it gets real juicy. Okay. I feel as though you could be kind of confused. You have the two eights here. Possibly about, like, a person here. We have the King of Wands on the bottom, which could be... I think that's the confusion. All right. The fact that it's pointing out the Queen of Pentacles, which I am going to say is you, okay? I want to say it's possible that you have a King of Wands that's coming forward towards you. Could be a fire sign. I'm not totally sure. But it's kind of saying... Um, there's a fascinating dynamic I keep seeing here between, like, these fire and earth signs. So I don't know how the dynamic is playing out here, but... I want to say that there's a person here that might be a little more financially established, Queen of Pentacles. So this person could have, like, they're good at making money, they're hardworking, they're consistent with something in that arena. And this King of Wands is pretty much making an approach. And I can see Queen of Pentacles right there, if that's you, Virgo. It's like you might be really, like, you don't know what their intentions are. And maybe you're kind of, like, confused right now. That can totally be the case. But it also could be that you're wondering or tr trying to question if this person is like, if they're in a third party or, oh, is that the conflict? Oh, okay. This is all general. So, you know, take it how it resonates. But this is what it's showing me. There's a person somewhere in the mix here that I think could be really conflicted. In fact, I almost want to say that this is causing conflict in another arena in their life. Okay, so f this Five of Wands and Three of Swords can be that there's like some arguments that are taking place because there could be another energy in here that feels that they're going to get left out. So it's like causing some type of argument. Okay, um, and... <laughs> this is not an easy situation. Let me take a drink of my green juice. To be honest, Virgo. Like, if you're questioning things, because this is, this is not funny. So, the Queen of Cups over here, I am going to say it. Because those are the only archetypes that are pop The only court cards that are popping out. There's a Queen of Pentacles, a King of Wands, and a Queen of Cups. And this is what I've been seeing in the dynamic there. I just talked about this in someone else's reading is that there's this weird planetary thing going on this year between Mars, um, Mercury, okay, which rules you Virgo, and then Neptune, Jupiter, something like that, because it's some type of Piscean energy, okay? I've been seeing like it all over the place. Look, look. There is nothing going on, okay? I can see, here's what's so tricky. Look, I don't think there's like anything to really <sighs> worry about, okay? The worrying is completely useless. And I, like, there could be some sneaky behavior going on here for sure. Like, but it also could be, you know, what's so tricky about these situations is like, when a person is overreactive, then another person feels like they have to walk on eggshells. And that's what's so tricky about this situation is that really what's happening here is it's pulling up some type of vulnerability. Okay, it's like pulling it right up to the surface. That's why this Three of Swords is here. It's trying to like highlight some kind of wound, wound or fragmentation. And that's why I was kind of bringing up foundational things that have really affected us. 
and how they're kind of like coming in and causing these triggers here in this dynamic I can see like there's there's just like confusion there is seven of cups can be fantasizing for sure but I'm getting like the eight of cups is like there's a person that left this situation I almost want to say that it's the queen of cups because like you have fascinatingly even though this is like earth energy which you are earth you're ruled by Mercury, which I find very fascinating, like, that, because it, it's, like, air energy, so there's, like, that is coming in right there, so here's the fire, there could have been a conflict or an argument, something that came up that was feeling a bit fiery, whatever happened here, this person walked away, there's the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Cups, I'm getting there, they could have, like, seen it or they want to go toward a true wish fulfillment that's a mature energy okay and queen of cups is mature she's not really going to play around and be like a page and you know try to steal people or be a home wrecker she doesn't give a shiz <laughs> like she's more concerned about following emotions or her own heart so that's why i'm getting in this situation is like there's a wound that just keeps causing conflict here. And it's like there's this there's a lot of patience and things required here in this connection because someone could be imagining like this whole scenario and situation. Isn't that fascinating? There's like two people right there. Okay, there's a castle. <laughs> there's a castle, Virgo. So it's like this person is kind of going way up and losing look at him look at she's levitating she's like stranger things i haven't even seen that show but it, that just popped out this person isn't even in like she's not grounded in reality okay so it's like pulling her up into these illusions and what's unfortunate if this was a seven of cups that was like oh your imagination that's amazing like your imagination is so great the unfortunate thing is this imagination is being like catapulted from a wound which will pull out negative scenarios like this is what it is and and it's a lot of overthinking and that that's all i can say like it's gonna require <laughs> coming back down to reality in like what's actually happening because there is there is Pluto with this Neptune stuff it's a lot of uh, like uh, fantasies illusions it's bullshit sorry it really is crazy so it's like you're gonna have to find a way to ground yourself through this craziness and also I wouldn't be surprised if you guys do have, like, a Seven of Swords energy going on. Maybe someone stole something from you. There could have been some deception. There could have been an exploitative energy. I would just say, cut contact, move on. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. Do not look at this. I was saying this in, I think, Satch is reading, out of sight, out of mind. Do not look at it. Okay? Don't look. Stay focused with yourself because you will recover, okay? And this person, whatever they took, if it's exploitative, they, can, they will be stuck there with nothing once this runs out, like, the and the karma's gonna come back, that always happens. So anyway, let me dive into the extended. I'll see whatever else wants to come out. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free, go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there, but Virgo, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you so much love, wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.